Sri Sukhuvacha, Sukhade Goswami said, 
Atta, then Gopi, of the Gopis, Anugyapya, taking permission. Yasodam, of Mother Yasoda, Nandam, King Nanda, Evacha, also Goban, of the cowherds, Amantya, taking leave. Dasaha, Uddhava, Yasan, being about to leave. Aruruhe, mountain, Ratan, his chariot. Translation, Sukhade Goswami said, Uddhava, the descendant of Dasaha, then took permission to leave from the gopis and from Mother Yasoda and Nanda Maharaj. He bade farewell to all the cowherd men and about to depart. Mounted his chariot. As the devotee was about to leave, Nanda and others approached him, bearing various items of worship. With tears in their eyes, they addressed him as follows. Report, Shalajiva Goswami points out that Nanda and the coward men did not approach Uddhava as a formality, but rather out of spontaneous affection for the dear friend of Krishna's. Nanda and the cowherd, other cowherds said, May our mental functions always take shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. May our words always chant his names. And may our bodies always bow down to him and serve him. Purport, the residents of Vrindavan were firmly convinced that even if they could not have direct association with their beloved Krishna, they would never be indifferent to him. They were all topmost pure devotees of the Lord. Uh, whenever, uh, whenever we are, we made, are made to wander, wander about this, about this world, world by the Supreme the Lord's, Lord's will in accordance with the reactions of our fruit of work, may, may our good our works, works and charity always grant us, us love for Lord, Lord Krishna. Krishna. Sukadeva Goswami continued, continued, O ruler, ruler of men, of men thus, thus honored by the cowherd men, men, with expressions of devotion for Lord, Lord Krishna, Krishna. Uddha went, went back to the city of Mathura, which was under Krishna's protection. Purport, the word Krishna Palitam indicates that even though Uddhava became quite attached to the land of Vrindavan, he returned to Mathura because Sri Krishna was personally displaying his transcendental pastimes there. After falling down to pay his homage, Uddhava described to Lord Krishna the immense devotion of the residents of Raja. Uddhava also described it to Vasudev, Lord Balaram, and King Ugrasena and presented to them the gifts of tribute he had brought with him. Thus end the purports of the humble servants of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Sanai Prabhupada to the 10th canto of 47th chapter, Srimad Bhagavatam, titled The Song of the Bee. So this concludes this uh, chapter. So Uddhava has just spoken. Uh, in, response in response to what the gopis, gopis said after, after the song, song of the bee, uh, uh, and, and uh, his, his uh, uh, speech, speech was a glorification of the people of Vrindavan and particularly and the gopis, gopis. Uh, and, and his aspiration, aspiration was that he should simply be a, a, a bush or a creeper or a piece of grass in Vrindavan, and, and that, way that way he gets, he gets the, the blessings of the gopis, gopis and others who wander on the, over the ground, etc. So in other words, uh, he put himself in a very humble position. Uh, so, uh, and, and the gopis he glorified as being greater than all the other devotees, uh, including Lakshmi. Uh, so, uh, therefore, uh, his uh, words were a glorification of the great love of the gopis, as well as the uh, other people of Vrindavan. Uh, so, so uh, uh, here, here the, uh, the Sukadev, Sukadev continues, continues to describe simply that uh, Uddhava left, left with the permission of the people of uh, Vrindavan. And he left, and he after, left some after some time. time. He stayed there for quite a long time, time. Uh, like a few a months, few months. Uh, uh, relishing the uh, great love that the people of Vrindavan had for Krishna. And, and thus he was thus able to appreciate, appreciate it very much. Very much. So he took so the he permission, took and he permission and he left and he went back, back to, to uh, uh, Matura. Matura. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, of, of course they all they gave all gifts, gifts to give to Krishna, Krishna and others. And, and uh, when, uh, when they, they spoke, spoke to, to him, him finally, finally, to Uddhava, uh, uh, their, their wish, wish was, was that they should, they should always be thinking of Krishna, Krishna, concentrating on Krishna, glorifying Krishna, serving Krishna at all times. 
Uh, uh, and they and expressed they express this in the form of, form of uh, being uh, material, material people, people, that they were, they were simply, simply taking, taking birth, birth after birth, birth in the material, material world, world. And, and according, according to their reactions by piety, they, they, they got, got some, some love of Krishna, Krishna so, so uh, they, uh, want, they to want to continue to remember him at all times. And with those words, Uddhava left and went back to Mathura, where he related the glories of the Brachabhasis and the Gopis to Krishna and Balaram, Ugrasena and Vasudeva and others. Uh, so the uh, important thing here is that we see that the people of Vrindavan had this uh, very special absorption in Krishna. Uh, of course, in this case, they were separated from him. Uh, uh, but uh, this separation was with uh, complete devotion. And even though they were pained and they may criticize Krishna or whatever, they were completely absorbed in him. And therefore, uh, they said at the end that this, we want to continue to remember him and speak about him at all times. Uh, so this is the, the, the nature of the people of Vrindavan. So uh, their particular type of devotion is complete absorption is called raga, which literally means attraction. Uh, of course, uh, it's also a particular type of attraction uh, in the different stages of prema, where we have raga, anuraga, mahabhava, etc. So uh, uh, it's also a, a, another, has another meaning there. So, but raga in general simply means this complete absorption in, the, uh, in Krishna. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's how it's how defined, it's defined the, in, the, in the, uh, second the second chapter of uh, the Nectar of Devotion. devotion. Yeah. Yeah. Complete, complete absorption, absorption, in absorption in the objects of object of love. love. Huh? Huh? And, and where is it, where found? it found? It's found, it's found in the people, people of Raja. Raja. Uh, so, of course, so of course, everybody is absorbed in the love of Krishna and Prema and Bhagavata and Ayodhya and everywhere else there's some absorption. But this is a particular type of absorption in Krishna. Uh, which is which found is in the people, the people of, of Vrindavan. Vrindavan. Uh, uh, so, that so that is what is we call Raga. raga. Uh, uh, and to follow after, after those persons is called Raga Nuga. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, here, uh, here we, we find, find this, this display, display, the special display, type of like love, love, this Raga, raga that the people of Vrindavan, Vrindavan had for uh, Krishna. Uh, Krishna. Now this, now is, this not is not to say, to say that, that uh, other persons in Dwarka and Mathura and Vaikuntha or Ayodhya or wherever in the spiritual world uh, or in the past times with other avatars don't have prema. They're pure. And they certainly they, uh, they don't think of anything material. So this Raga means it's a special type of uh, pure attachment, uh, uh, which is quite intense. And at the same time, uh, without uh, the obstruction of thinking that uh, Krishna is Supreme Lord. So that's what distinguishes this type of attachment from the attachment to Krishna in Dwarka or Mathura. There they understand Krishna is Supreme Lord. So though they have prema and whatever and attachment, and even the, uh, we can say some of them have raga and in the stages of the prema, like the queens of Dwarka. Uh, still, uh, it is different from the attachment of the people of Vrindavan. Hmm? So, one of course, we have uh, persons attached to any form of the Lord, like Vishnu or Rama, etc. And then we have persons attached to Krishna. So, obviously, the attachment to Krishna is somewhat stronger because Krishna is the most attractive form. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll find, find uh, varieties, uh, varieties of love, of love uh, in relation to Krishna. Krishna. But, but uh, uh, Krishna, Krishna and Mathura and Dwarka uh, is different, different from the Krishna, from Krishna in, in Vrindavan. Vrindavan. Huh? So, so uh, the Krishna, Krishna in Vrindavan, Vrindavan uh, is, is different, different because, because of the way, way in which uh, the, uh, people the people there see, see him. him. Uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, they see him as a cowherd boy. And they, and they see, see him, him as, as their relative, relative, and they don't, they don't see, see him as Supreme Lord at all. At all. Huh? Uh, so this is so this what is creates what that creates particular, particular type of attraction, attraction or raga. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, the, of course, it is uh, for uh, people doing Vaidhi Bhakti. Uh, it is a good quality to see that uh, or to understand that uh, Supreme Lord is very great. Uh, and therefore, we read in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, everything comes from me, uh, um, Sarvasya Prabhavo, etc. Uh, everything is in me but I'm not in them, etc. So there's, so there's a, very a very strong emphasis, emphasis there on establishing the position of Krishna as Supreme Lord. Lord. Huh? Huh? So, for so for beginners, beginners in devotion, devotion yes, that's, that's uh, beneficial, beneficial because, because we don't want to think of Krishna as a devata or as an ordinary human being, whatever. Uh, the Lord has a very special position. So philosophically, we should accept that, uh, uh, the position of the Supreme Lord. Uh, however, however uh, at, the at the same time, time if, if, if we, uh, we uh, want, want to uh, get, get the type of love, love that the people of Vrindavan have, have, then we have we to have forget, forget that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it like sounds a contradiction, like contradiction to become, become ignorant, ignorant and forget, and forget all, all of that. that. Uh, uh, but we, but see we see here, here that's exactly, exactly what happens to the people of Vrindavan. Here, they're saying, oh, we're just ordinary people wandering about from body to body and uh, doing, doing fruit, fruit of work, work and we do pious, pious activities, activities and we get association with Krishna. Krishna. Huh? Huh? So this actually, actually is not a uh, philosophically, philosophically correct, correct statement. statement. Huh? Huh? They're, not, They're uh, not ordinary persons. persons. They, don't they, don't around around they don't wander around in the material world. world. They, they got, got spiritual, spiritual bodies. bodies. And they don't they attain don't Krishna by pious activities. It's only because of their intense devotion that they have this relationship with the Lord. Mm. So they, so they, they, they uh, um, act, act as if they, they are completely are ignorant, ignorant. Huh? Huh? Uh, and, but, but they're they're the, uh, the main uh, reason is, is that, that this great this attraction, attraction to Krishna, to Krishna. Without, without thinking of the Supreme Lord, Lord uh, uh, makes, makes them completely, them completely identify, identify uh, uh, with their, with their forms, forms as cowherd as people. And, uh, and uh, anything that, that uh, obstructs that, that uh, they reject. They reject. Uh, uh, so, uh, therefore, so therefore, the, the idea that Krishna is Supreme Lord, Lord uh, uh, or that or they, they are special devotees, devotees uh, that, that is, um, becomes, an becomes an obstacle to their, to their type, of type of devotion. So therefore, it's completely covered up at all times, and they don't they don't take that as as an important factor in their relationship with the Lord. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, that, that creates, that creates the, intensity the intensity of their, their devotion, devotion uh, which we call raga. raga. Uh, uh, and, that and that we see we here, see where, where the, uh, they, they, they simply say that we're just ordinary people, people etc. Uh, but uh, whatever, uh, whatever happens, happens, we always, always want, want to think of Krishna, Krishna at all times. So that is a very special type of love. And, and we'll see in the 10th canto, uh, up until this point, uh, this is the, uh, what is presented uh, in discussion of uh, Krishna's activities with Nanda and Yasoda and the cowherd boys and the gopis. It is all with uh, understanding that uh, Krishna is just one of them uh, and, and no different from them. Uh, so, this creates the, uh, the greatness of their love or the unique nature of their love. Uh, so, objectively, so objectively speaking, speaking uh, this uh, is the most, most intense, intense and it's and also the sweetest. The sweetest. Uh, uh, and thus, and we call it the greatest, greatest type of type love, of that in Vrindavan. Whereas, whereas that in Dwarka or Matura, Matura uh, uh, put, in put in a lesser, lesser uh, category. category. But, but we should not we should think, think that, that uh, these uh, are uh, uh, not satisfying, not satisfying. Uh, these, these other relationships. relationships. They're also, they're also fully satisfied, satisfied and they're and also, also prema, prema, and they give great bliss to those particular devotees. Uh, so from one from point, point of view, view we will put this uh, Brajabhasis in the, the highest level, level. Uh, 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 but, uh, but we should but we never, never uh, consider, uh, consider the other devotees in other places, places to be imperfect in any way, way. Uh, nor that nor they are not they blissful. Are not blissful. So they all have great experience of bliss, uh, which is eternal, in relation to Krishna or other forms of the Lord. Uh, but this, uh, the nature of the love in Vrindavan is uh, very, very special uh, and intense and very, very sweet. Uh, so it is glorified in the Bhagavatam. So by hearing about the pastimes of Krishna and Vrindavan, 
and then uh, the, uh, the listener, listener may, may develop, develop an attraction, an attraction for the, that, that type of love, love for those for type, those of, type devotees, of devotees, etc. Huh? Huh? And that, and that of, course, of course is the, the, the aim of uh, uh, Sukadeva Goswami and narrating this, that people will become attracted to this. Huh? Huh? And, and consequently, consequently they will begin, they will begin to, to worship, worship Krishna, Krishna in his Vrindavan, Vrindavan form. form. Hmm? Uh, uh, and if they, and do, if they so, do so, uh, uh, with, with the proper, proper mood, mood then, then eventually, eventually they enter they into enter those pastimes past also. also. Uh, 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 so, so uh, th that, that is, is uh, uh, one of the, the, uh, the purposes, purposes of these descriptions, to inspire people, the listener, uh, uh, to, to develop, develop enthusiasm, enthusiasm for having, having a similar, similar type of devotion, devotion to the people in Vrindavan. Uh, uh, and we and see, we that, see uh, that, uh, that it is done, it is done very effectively, effectively by Sukadev Goswami, who appreciated the, the uh, love, uh, love of the of people of Vrindavan. Uh, so, this so this particular, particular incident, incident is one of separation, separation where, where uh, uh, the, people the people of Vrindavan had been with Krishna and then they got separated. Huh? Uh, there's two, there's types, two of types of separation, separation, separation of never, never seeing the Lord and then and finally meeting him, him, as in the case of Arjuna or, or uh, Pandavas, they, they never met Krishna, Krishna, but they heard they about him and then they had to develop along, and then they finally met him. So that's why, but this is not the case of the Brajabhasis. They were with Krishna and then they got separated from him. So this type of separation is quite painful for them in one sense. Uh, uh, but but uh, uh, it, it also, also intensifies, intensifies and, reveals and reveals certain aspects, aspects of their, uh, their love. Their love. Uh, and this and is this what Buddha was, was able to see in separation, separation uh, uh, very, very obvious, obvious uh, symptoms, uh, symptoms of the intensity of their love began manifesting. We see in the case of the uh, song, uh, song of the beat, beat. out of out intense uh, separation, separation and pain, pain. Uh, Radha, Radha begins to speak in this particular way. Otherwise, she wouldn't speak like that. So, so uh, Udo was, was able to appreciate, to appreciate uh, the love, love because of that, of that uh, separation, separation from Krishna. From Krishna. Uh, not just not a just short, short period, short but, period but, but a very, very long period, period of time. time. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but as, as Krishna, Krishna explained, explained in his letter, his letter to, the to the gopis, gopis actually, actually uh, uh, were not separated. Not separated. <laughs> So this, so is, this confusing is confusing because, because they were they actually were separated, separated and Krishna, Krishna went away. Went away. Huh? Huh? Yet, yeah, as we yeah, see, see, there are many statements that Krishna, Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. <laughs> but yet he, he left. left. So, so did he leave or did he not, not leave? leave? So according so to the Bhagavad, Bhagavad, he did leave. Did leave. Huh? Yet, yet, we have, have statements he didn't leave. So he didn't leave. That's part of what we call the non-manifested pastimes, the uprakat lila. As, as in the Goloka, Goloka in the spiritual, the spiritual world, Krishna, Krishna goes on daily with his activities like that, that and he stays there with the people there. there. Huh? Uh, so, so uh, uh, and yes, yes uh, the, Lord the Lord never leaves Vrindavan uh, in, in the spiritual world. But when Krishna appears on earth and he performs his pastime, this is what we call the Prakat pastimes and Prakat Lila, then he does leave. He actually does leave. In that particular, in that particular form. form. So, so we look. We, look, we have we two have forms: two Krishna in the spiritual world, 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 Krishna in his prakat lila. Huh? But, but we should never we should think never of them as separate. separate. Just as Just we as should, should never think of Krishna, Krishna and Rama and Narasimha as separate. separate. They're all one Bhagavan. Hmm? Similarly, Similarly, Krishna, Krishna in his uprakat pastimes and his prakat pastimes, he's just one Krishna. He's not two different Krishnas. He's one Krishna. Huh? So, this so, is difficult for us to understand, to understand uh, how, how one person, person could be many persons with different forms, forms and Sharma Dev, etc., and, and how Krishna, Krishna can have his uh, uprakat pastimes where he's not leaving Vrindavan and simultaneously he has his prakat pastimes where he is leaving Vrindavan. <laughs> that sounds a little peculiar, like a uh, split personality or something like this. Uh, uh, so, so uh, and, at uh, and at the same time, same time not, not only, only he, he does, does this, this, but all, all the Brajabhasis are like that also. In one form, they're with Krishna in the spiritual world, world in another one, they're lamenting in separation, separation from Krishna, Krishna at this point. At this point. Huh? Huh? So, so uh, uh, difficult, difficult for us to understand. To understand. Yeah. Yeah. 
But this is an arrangement of the Supreme Lord by His extraordinary power that He expands His form into many and at the same time as one and in these different forms He does different activities, etc. as different avatars and even as Krishna expands Himself in Rasa Dance or in the uh, palaces of the queens in Dwarka and He's still one person. Huh? He's, not even, he's not even an expansion, He is the same person. Huh? Huh? So this so is this what is was what astonishing, was too. too. Uh, Narada, Muni. Narada Muni. He's traveled around the universe, he's traveled all over the, universe, universe, traveled all the spiritual world, he knows there's different forms, forms of the Lord, etc. Uh, 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 but this was most this astonishing, was astonishing when he saw Krishna in all the palaces, because it wasn't even an expansion, it was just Krishna himself. And he was the same Krishna, but everywhere doing different things. So by his will, Krishna does these extraordinary feats. And similarly, and similarly, he also, he also uh, has, has the, the uh, simultaneously, simultaneously the, the people of Vrindavan in, in, in uh, two, uh, two different, different apparently two different, different forms, forms experiencing, experiencing different things, things one in separation, separation, one in union. union. So, so difficult, difficult for us to understand how, how he can how do this and how they can how experience, they can experience this, this, but uh, 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 this, uh, this is, is the will of the Supreme Lord. So. Though Krishna uh, did separate from the gopis in his letter, then he said, actually, uh, in, in the other form, we're not separated. So that's the consolation, that in one form they are with Krishna, even though in this form they are separated from Krishna. So, uh, therefore, uh, they have what, simultaneous meeting and separation. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, so that, of course, that of course is, is a, 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 some sort of, sort of consolation, consolation but, but in separation, in separation the, the uh, devotees, devotees actually, want actually want to have a meeting with Krishna. Meeting with Krishna. In, so in so the Prakat Lila, they, they strive, strive to have, have a meeting with Krishna, with Krishna eventually. eventually. And this, and this uh, uh, gives them great fulfillment. So eventually, this is what happened. Krishna finally did return. And then, and then he, he uh, uh, vowed that he would stay there, stay there uh, eternally and not leave them again. Huh? Huh? So, the, so the, the separation is finally is resolved, uh, resolved with Krishna returning Krishna and, uh, and uh, participating with them again in the same pastimes as before. Huh? So in this so way, this way uh, uh, the separation, separation pastimes past in the material would also, also resolve. resolve. They don't, he doesn't stay separated forever. He also resolves that and he comes back to the Rajabhasis there. Uh, uh, so the separation, so the separation uh, is, uh, is uh, we say, temporary, temporary and, and even though, even it's, though it's prolonged in the material world, world but, but followed, followed again by meeting. So the separation may be there, may be there but, but the meeting, the meeting is, is inevitable, inevitable and, and therefore we should not criticize the separation as being some sort of uh, painful, painful experience or whatever. whatever. It, it, it uh, reveals certain aspects of their prema and it resolves into great prema when Krishna again meets with them. So we should never criticize Krishna for leaving in this way and leaving the people of Vrindavan in this state. What we find is the modern world, material world, is saying that familiarity breed contempt. Even though they are staying together, they, they feel that they are staying separate. The modern world, when they are working in the companies, they don't talk to each other. But we find in the gopis that even though Krishna is not there, they feel more. Sometimes two people are together, they don't talk to each other. To understand well, that's well, material that's world. world. Uh, we, have material we have material relationships, relationships and, and uh, uh, material, material relationships, relationships are, are uh, not, not based, based on, on uh, pure, pure love. love. So therefore, therefore we'll get all get sorts all of uh, 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 counter, counter systems, systems in the relationships, relationships and the affection in the material world. world. Uh, spiritual uh, world, world and, uh, uh, they have they prema, prema, which is pure. pure. And it's all centered on Krishna, who is the ideal object of love. Uh, uh, so, the, so the, uh, though there though is there some, some semblance, semblance uh, of, uh, what can I say, similarity, similarity between material, material relationships, relationships and those in the spiritual world, world there's, also there's also big differences. Big differences. Uh, uh, and and uh, this, uh, this is one, is one of the one differences. differences. The relationships, relationships there are perfect. perfect. Here, Here uh, they're, not they're not perfect. perfect. Uh, 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 they're, uh, the, the, the persons, persons themselves, themselves are full of faults. and the uh, way, in way in which they, they express, express their, their affection, affection is also, also impure. impure. So therefore, so therefore uh, there's all sorts of problems, problems in these relationships. Hare Krishna Maharaj, as you said, uh, means uh, gopis are loving Krishna, so uh, when uh, someone, someone loves Krishna, so they, they, they consider themselves in equal position with Krishna, so 
Well, well, in one in sense, one, yes, yes, the Brajabhasis think, think Krishna, Krishna is one of them. them. He's, He's like, like them. them. He's, He's not, not in some high, high position as Supreme Lord. Lord. But, but they have different, they have different relationships. relationships. The, 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 the Sakas, the cowherd, the cowherd boys, boys, think of Krishna, Krishna as an equal. equal. So if the parents, parents think of him as superior. superior. Are, are they, they're superior. He's inferior, inferior because he's a small child. And his servants think of Krishna as superior there in Vrindavan. So it's not so it's exactly, exactly completely, completely equal, equal, but nevertheless, they don't they think don't him think as, as in a special position as Supreme as Lord in Vrindavan. So if he say that means they consider themselves equal position, so at the same time, gopis consider themselves very means ordinary person or ignorant. So at that time, they consider themselves as uh, they are jiva. Yeah, yeah. As I said here, here Nanda, Nanda Maharaj, Maharaj also says, okay, we're wandering, wandering in this material world from body to body, body etc. Yes, yes, so they think of themselves as ordinary cowherd people. people. So again, if the law means how they come to the position they are equal with Krishna, huh? when they again uh, loving Krishna, so how they come to the position they are equal with Krishna, means equal position. Means uh, they consider themselves jiva when they think themselves they are ignorant. So when they again love Krishna, so they consider themselves equal with Krishna. So how it happens through yoga maya potency? Is that you know how can they again have this this desire that you know? Uh, because it's mentioned there, you know, maybe we'll wander and again we will, be, again, we will uh, again meet with Krishna. It's mentioned, I think, the, the how, can how can they? Yeah, yeah how can they, 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 they can have like this desire? Well, well uh, 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 it's, it's a good, good desire, desire that we always, we always want, want to be with Krishna, with Krishna. Krishna. life after life. life. The, only the only contradiction, contradiction is, is that actually they don't, they don't have material bodies, bodies etc., but they think in this way. Uh, uh, so, how is, how is that possible? That possible? Yes, yes, yoga maya, we can say, or uh, it is, uh, we say, necessarily part of the uh, feeling in Vrindavan, uh, that they're ordinary cowherd people. Hmm? What is regarding this, uh, no, Krishna is not there in the Vrindavan, again, he is in the Vrindavan. But we see, but, uh, you know, Krishna is everywhere, but why particularly he saying that he never lives in Vrindavan? But, but, He's, he's everywhere. everywhere. He's not. There, there is, is no place where Krishna well, is not. Well, there. there never leaves a Ravana and says he doesn't go to Mathura. I think that's what it means. It, he doesn't go to Mathura and then disappear from Vrindavan. So in spiritual world, he doesn't go to Mathura. He stays in Vrindavan. He's always playing in his daily activities, etc. But anyway, he's everywhere. But this well, of course, that's what he says to the gopis also in the, uh, the, the, the first meaning of the letter, yes, uh, just as, you know, the ether pervades all the other elements. So, I'm Supreme Lord and I pervade all the elements so that you can see me in the trees, you can see me in the flowers, you know, I'm everywhere. I'm Paramatma, whatever. So, that's, yeah, that's one conception, but it's not satisfying to devotees. Can you say that this is like, you know, to pacify the gopis, he say, he, uh, no, this, he's saying like this, I mean, always, always in Vrindavan. To pacify them only, he was saying like this? Well, yeah, in the spiritual world, yes, he is there. So, uh, in one form, he is with the gopis eternally, and he never leaves them. Uh, so, it's a pacification, definitely. Another question is, Mona, see, uh, Krishna's pastime is going on in many universes simultaneously. Can you see the same kind of pastimes going on in different places, different universes, different planets? Same kind of pastimes, like, you know, see, 5,000 years back, Krishna here, whatever, because uh, we see he has uh, something like 125, 130 years, the pastime. Same kind of pastime is going on some other planets also, simultaneously. Krishna's pastimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, it, well it, we generally, I mean, there may be exceptions, but generally he appears in Bhumandala and in Bhumandala and Vrindavan. Not in not higher planets. planets. Higher planets, we have uh, birth as uh, Vamana Dev or something like that. Huh? But Krishna appears on. If he's a, then he would be a Devata if he appeared up there. <laughs> he wouldn't be a cowherd boy. <laughs> no cowherd boys in Svargaloka. I know unlimited universes are there, you know. And un the unlimited there will be unlimited boomerangs there. Huh? Unlimited universes are there. Yeah. Unlimited universes and unlimited boomerangs are there. Yeah. Yeah. So they can have also, you know, can have the same kind of pastimes. What's that? Can have same kind of pastime, whatever happened here in the Bhumandala. Yeah, similar. In all the different places, very similar pastimes. 
another question can you see the check uh, this shloka number 66 that you know he said that manaso vritti no siv krishna padahar bundu ashraya he is saying that you know this is nanda maharaj and uh, this gopa saying that you know may our mental function always take shelter of krishna's lotus feet it's mentioned that means they think themselves krishna is a superior not the uh, same level equal level no uh, even if he's not supreme uh, they always want to in other words, even though we have parents and other persons who may feel superior to Krishna, still, even they are dedicated completely to Krishna and surrendered to him in love. Yeah, so they express that by saying, we surrender to your lotus feet or we're attached to your lotus feet, etc. Huh? Is it figurative meaning we can say? Huh? Is it figurative meaning just, you know? Yeah, in one sense, for, for the elders at least. 